Well, heck. Okay. I'm sorry about that last one. Freeze frame YT here trying to recover from my game crashing. I don't know why it crashed, but it did. I think Log is just too jealous of the amazingness that is moi. Because I'm a very creative person. As you could probably tell. Now, instead of doing it in here, I'm not going to spawn it inside of the game world. That's what made me crash last time. This time, <coughs> I'm going to just, uh, let's see. Alright, so, I do have like three or four or more designs. But real quick, I'm gonna show you the before and afters. Now this was the before shots. As you can hopefully see, it's much better quality. So you can actually see something. Now, if you just pressed one button, I'll press one button, and I'll try and zoom in or something. One button, a second shot gets loaded in, and the first shot gets fired. And it doesn't work all the time, as you can see. But it does work quite a bit. Now as you can see, I have my second shot loaded, and my third shot is in the chamber right now. So, when I shoot that, this will happen, and if it gets stuck way too far up in the barrel, you just gonna push it in there, like you would do, like old Titan, and you shoot it again. Now for the fourth shot is like the most difficult one to get to work. Wow, it caught itself. Okay, uh, nope. That's not gonna work. But as you can see, that one was... It wasn't a complete failure, but it was still a failure. Now my second autoloader that I made was this one. Now, this second shot is not going to work because you can kind of see that the uh, first, second shot is not aligned with the spring. So I'm going to have to respawn it. Now, as you can see, it's now aligned with the spring. And you shoot it, and sometimes something like that happens. But this one is much more, you know, accurate and much more reliable. Much, it's much better. It's much, much better in every aspect. It's just two shots, though. Now, if you do want to know how to make this, I'll make, like, a separate video if you really want to know. Now for the third and final design, so far at least, is the Auto Disc Launcher. Now this puppy has quite a few more shots than the other ones. It's a lot less complex, because all you need to do is just... <laughs> oh, you son of a gun. Because all you need to do is just hit A again. That's it. Sometimes the uh, shot will get stuck in the barrel. That's why I have uh, the boot. This boot thing. I have that. That's why I have it. So uh, the barrel won't get clogged. Say 
Say we have a clogged barrel right here. Uh oh. Well, that happens as well. But hey, at least there's no more clogged barrel. But anyways, I'm going to show you some other designs. And if it sounds like that I'm like, I have a plug in my nose, it's, you know, because I have a little bit of a nose issue right now. So I apologize. This is a spin-off of my design. I forget who made this one, but it's different. Somebody else made this, so they designed it to be like a nuke. I don't think that's supposed to be how it works. Oh, okay. I have no idea how this works, to be honest. So I'm going to keep on trying it until I get it right. As you can see, whoever did this, I'm pretty sure it was... I don't know who it was. I don't want to say whose it was and be wrong. I'm so used to it being on A. X. Oh, I, I think it just goes up higher. Alright. Oh, so it. This was from Pyro. <coughs> he made it a lot more mobile, I guess. Now I'm gonna have to take away all the green blocks. Because he shared this with me through multiplayer, and you can't have attached parts through multiplayer. It's just not how life works. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to get off of this real quick. Wait, how is that gonna go in there? Oh, I see. I see. There's another yellow block I added. Remove. Alright. Now let's do it. Oh my god, I'm so used to it being an A. So it's. It's a bit better. Of course, I'm not gonna lie. Something's better than my own design, I'll say it. Is it designed to fly? Wow, that actually shot better than I expected, to be honest. So I guess it's just a more mobile design. Much faster. <coughs> so yeah, if you really want to know how one of these works, I'll show you real quick. So this is basically the basis of it. So what you want to do is make a little barrel for it. See right here I have a bit of a barrel. <coughs> Give you a nice little look at it. 
Now for the shots, you should probably have, you know, anything really. You just need to have, make sure that it's shootable. These right here, they're just 3x3 three three with, you know, stuff in them. And in the center, I do have an egg turret. That's just to judge distance on the minimap. Now we're on the back of each shot, or on the back of the barrel, you want to place some springs. Right where the uh, shot is going to go in. <coughs> and add a spring to the back of your second shot. So that way, when you fire it, let me reload this real quick. So that way, when you fire it, oh, you gotta respawn that. Gotta respawn that. It doesn't do this that often, not as often as it's doing right now. <coughs> now, as you can see, by pushing on the springs. This is sending, or these are sending this flying, <coughs> and the one solo string is pushing this into the barrel, and which will reload it automatically, making you ready to fire again. So that's the basic premise. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope that the video quality was <coughs> a lot better. And I do apologize, but I couldn't find my Minecraft story mode. Sorry. I'll do that tomorrow morning if I get the chance. Thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe.